Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Like the win I go and like a man I come, Zephyr is here. And today, I have come to review a game called Library of Ruina to see if it's worth playing during your downtime. Developed and published by Project Moon, Library of Ruina is a story rich game with a card based system for combat. If you enjoyed the world building of Project Moon previous game, Lobotomy Corporation, you would be pleased to know that Library of Ruina is built around the same world, a continuation of the story that took place after the events of the previous game. In other words, if you have not played Lobotomy Corporation or played it until the end, you will be experiencing several spoilers of the last game. You will be playing as Roland, a former kick-ass fixer who stumbled across the library by chance. An unfortunate accident that leads him to no longer have his favorite meat stew and hum hum pang pang. But for every misfortune lies a boon, for our protagonist was able to meet with his hero, the Red Miss. The library isn't just a place to meet your heroes, it is a place where wealth, power, and knowledge are all accumulated in the form of a book. Your role in the library is to deem if the library guests are worthy to retrieve those books for themselves. Should they not be worthy, they will be a part of the library collection. A book for a book. And that is what Library of Ruiner is all about. It is an amazing visual novel experience with a pretty solid combat system. The combat system is different when compared to its predecessor, the Lobotomy Corporation, but it is certainly more forgiving. Forgiving in the sense of you won't feel your heart aching as much when you lose a battle. Every turn will have you play a card or more to counter against the enemy's card. You can see their cards and in a way, it's kinda like playing rock paper scissors. The outcome is never for certain due to RNG, but if your card minimum roll is higher than your enemy maximum rolls, the outcome is fixed. You will gain a book after defeating your enemies. The book will tell you the story of the individuals or organization that you have bested. And for those that enjoy a game that have an intricate story in regards to the way of the game they are playing, Library of Ruiner has plenty of those for you to indulge in. But most importantly, the book is also used to invite stronger force into the library and provide you with the cards your opponent has used against you. You will never have one size fits all kind of deck in Library of Ruiner. Your deck needs to be constantly updated and built around the next opponent. And from a certain point of view, despite the repetitive nature of the game combat system, it feels somewhat fresh as you are constantly using new cards for combat. The art style of Library of Ruina is unique, and Project Moon have made it to be its style as it can be seen from its previous game, Lobotomy Corporation, and its upcoming game, The Limbus Company. The soundtrack of the game is great, and what took me by surprise was the opening act of the game. It was performed by Millie, and one of her more known works would be the opening theme song for the anime called Goblin Slayer. And it seems she will be working with Project Moon for their next game, The Limbus Company. The vocal performance by everyone in the game is great, and my personal favorite is the robotic voices by the robotic characters. <laughs> Overall, Library of Ruina provides a wonderful gameplay experience in every aspect, unless you don't like anything Korean related. The system requirement of the game is rather humble and it should not be too much of a problem for you to play the game even on your laptop. The game offers partial controller support and it can be played remotely on your tablet. You can play the game in English, Japanese, Simplified Chinese, and Korean. If you don't like hearing Korean noises, there's an option for you to mute the voices. Though I wouldn't recommend that as you won't be getting the full Library of Ruiner experience. I am currently 50 hours into the game and I just reached the gate of the endgame content. I would roughly estimate that there would be another 40 to 50 hours of content before you complete the game and I reckon it would be another 50 hours or so if you want to go for 100% steam achievement. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, this library of ruin and the game is available on the PC and Xbox One. You can get the game for $26 or based on your region GDP. Can I recommend you getting library of ruin for $26 for you to play during your downtime? Definitely. If you enjoy a good storytelling and a great world building lore, library of ruin is something not to be missed. Coupled with its great art style, music, vocal performance, tremendous amount of content, and a very reasonable price tag, Library of Ruina is one of those games where I can recommend getting at a full price for its amazing gameplay experience. Otherwise, put it on your wish list and wait for it to be on sale. I am looking forward to Project Moon next game, Limbus Company. My name is Zephyr. Like the win I go and let the man I come. And now it's time for me to go. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. And if you enjoyed the video, do subscribe to show your support and follow me on my Patreon as well. Stay safe, have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!